one. And liftoff at dawn, the dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. Main engine ignition, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NROL-37 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office.
tower now separating. Boosters igniting, the engines firing. Ramping up to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of Tim Copra, Yuri Malenchenko, and Timothy Peake on their way to the International Space Station. So far, getting good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single core engine. Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main engines. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight. 10 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. 
Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 34 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange. Atlanta's traveling 3,200 miles an hour. And the bird's eye view from the external tank camera of external tank separation. Atlanta's now in its preliminary orbit. Charlie Hobaugh will now maneuver Atlantis so that cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well can perform photography of the discarded external fuel tank. And Mike Foreman and Leland Melvin are about to use digital still.